All right, so Crimson Eye, Phasmophobia 0.11. So console release crossplay. We were thrilled to bring Phasmophobia to Xbox Series XS, PS5, and PSVR 2 on October 29th. This update will we're also introducing optional crossplay. Now PC and console players can team up seamlessly across platforms, letting you connect with friends and face the paranormal together, whether you're on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation. Uh, Halloween, last October, Ghost Hunters summoned the Blood Moon using a mysterious cauldron. This year, the Blood Moon is back and bigger than ever. Paranormal energy has drastically increased in several locations. See, I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with this Blood Moon thing. Uh, resulting a new weather type Blood Moon, enter these cursed locations, complete investigations, optional objectives, and photograph any blood altars you may find to earn blood points. Yeah, I love the fact they're calling these blood points. Uh, dead by daylight, don't be calling. Work together with the ghost hunting community to collect blood points and earn brand new rewards. Be warned, during the blood moon, ghosts will be empowered and stronger than ever. I'm really curious to see what this is going to be. Note this event brings a lot of technical changes, which will allow us to keep track of the event progress and make the live changes on our cloud servers. If needed, this event and future seasonal and or temporary events will require an online connection to play any event connection content. See, this is what I'm curious about. Does this mean that I, I mean... Can I still play single player? In, darling. I've been expecting you. Uh, who was that? Iris, hello. Sorry, just kind of going over the uh, going over everything right now. But welcome on in. Uh, event board, new event board has been added to the warehouse, featuring leaflets for current in-game events and challenges. Each event and challenge is a unique leaflet for for progress tracking. You could open a leaflet by interacting with it, revealing information and corresponding rewards. The event board is located between the truck and interior, interior door of the warehouse. Several assort, assets and decor have been moved or surround the event board. The previous game's photo corkboard has been relo relocated to the parked warehouse truck. I still think they need to put that on the board, I mean on the wall, before you go into the truck. New challenges have been added. Ranger challenge, which is kind of cool. Sunny Meadows survival, kind of cool. Updated physics, the player and door systems have been overhauled to fix all physics-related issues. Doors will no longer push players into walls or out of locations. Doors can no longer be pulled off their hinges. Players with low FPS will no longer fall through the floor on point. Hope players can no longer be pushed through the walls or objects. Uh, give me one second here. I'm going to add something here. I know it's a big face. Be afraid. There we go. Actually, move this down. Okay. Um. So let's see here. Doors can no longer be pulled off their hinges. Players with low FPS will no longer fall through the floor on point. Hope players can no longer be pushed through walls or objects. I mean, this is gonna this is gonna piss off a lot of people because this is the glitch people were surviving on. Yep. Which I mean, I'm sorry. I'm. Yay. <laughs> I just want I, I just want to see videos of people th who don't read the patch notes who tried to uh, use the glitch and then die. <laughs> I just want to see vids. If it happens to you, make a vid. <laughs> Added Latin America Spanish language support. Point Hope now has a unique key in the truck. You can now invite and join friends using your Steam friends list, which is kind of cool. Your Unity ID is now displayed on the main menu board. Please provide this with any game support ticket you submit. Okay. If you block a player, you will now be muted for them. In addition to them being muted to you, the EULA now supports all languages. Changes, all aspects of the game have been heavily optimized, resulting in higher performance and more consistent frame rates. The handwritten font journal main menu has been replaced to improve localization support across all languages. Ah, okay, so that's why. You can no longer access the badge selection menu or change your character model while in the debriefing screen. The ghost orb section of training will now be completed more consistently. How much more do we got to read? Okay, not much. Okay, fixes. Many localization UI and font issues have been fixed throughout the game in all languages. Sticky notes and training will now display the correct key bindings when using a controller and will be disabled in VR. Ghosts will no longer be able to hear players using push to talk after you stop talking using global chat. We will see. This is the third time they've told us that this is fixed. I will believe it when I see it. 
Uh, players will no longer float when loading into the warehouse. The main menu UI will no longer break and overlap if you click the join button too many times or when the, leaving the difficulty settings. Red strings on the investigation board will now turn on and off correctly when taking and removing photos. I will be totally honest. I've never noticed this whatsoever. So I, I don't know what this was. I don't know what this means. I've never noticed the red strings doing anything when I'm taking pics. Um, you'll no longer get stuck in the monkey Paul text menu when using gamepad. New badges will now appear as options on your ID card as soon as you earn them. Nice. Badges on the ID card will now completely reset if you have a badge that isn't synced with your cloud save. Your ID card will now reset if you reset your save file. Okay, English is hard. Ghost can now enter and exit Sunny Moto's Experiment Room 3. I don't even know which room is Experiment Room 3. I think it might be the tubs. Uh, not sure. Ghost will no longer get stuck on top of several objects in Sunny Meadows. The Ridge View Utility Light will no longer stop rendering if you close the door. Gamepad icons for navigating main menu board will no longer disappear when swapping between menus. Gamepad cursor speed will now correct adjust to higher resolution monitors. VR and gamepad users can now scroll on the briefing screen to see all information. You can no longer lose equipment inside the wall above the stairs in Ridge View. I think I've had that happen once. When multiplayer is die at the same time, the contract will now end and you will be able to exit the, brief the briefing screen. The contract will now load correctly as someone disconnects while loading. That's some difficulty will now properly unlock at level 50 instead of level 1. The voice recognition UI will no longer show multiple phrases for each question in, sm in some languages. Weekly difficulty primitive no longer tries to spawn more salt than what is possible. I'd never had that happen. I wish it would have. That would have been nice. UI will no longer overlap as spamming the join button or when leaving the difficulty settings. When the host leaves, objects physics will now correctly reset for the new host. The ghost animations during events will now be the correct speed. Fix several microphone issues on Steam Deck. Okay, does it? Okay, do any of you guys play on the Steam Deck? The update is out now, Con. It just it came out at eight o'clock, or right around eight o'clock, or eight o'clock my time. So yeah, it came out about twenty minutes, uh, about nineteen minutes ago. Known issues, some locations, but you have to. Get out of Faz and get out of Steam and then come back into Steam. Hey, Liz. Uh, okay, known issues. Some locations have lighting and reflection issues, specifically with rooms being too bright. After dropping Voodoo Doll, movement will be incorrect. Some trees will flash with eye adaption enabled on low-end hardware. The first two pages of the VR journal have missing text. Tripod, I will follow you when dropped on consoles. Okay, that's funny. Rain and snow effects can't be seen on consoles. If you experience any issues, blah, blah, blah. All right, so there is that. So, yeah. So, that's the patch notes. So, hope you guys, hopefully for those who are not uh, watching right now and they're lurking specifically so they can be surprised, uh, enjoy the patch notes. But, yeah, there you go.